Okay, as you realize, you can't assign public IP addresses to all of these machines because you, we only have five, and uh, most of them you won't be able to, uh, won't doesn't want to be accessed outside the network. Then you can use one machine in your network to connect to the other machines. But to be able to do that, you have to have the, uh, the key file if you don't use uh, username and password. Uh, and if we want to take that approach, because then we can, uh, if we wanted to connect to the Cirrus machine, uh, you could uh, disconnect the floating IP and use this Ubuntu machine to connect to that one. So you will probably have one client which, uh, in your network uh, which has a public IP which you connect to from your home machine and then use that machine to administer the other machines. And some machines will have public IP. If you want to have a web server or DNS server that should be accessed externally, then they of course should have a, a floating IP connected to it. But how do we transfer our private key to this machine? Well, I now connect it back to my physical laptop here. Uh, and we can use something called Secure Copy, which uses SSH. Uh, you can use this in Windows also, but you have to use the Git Bash uh, to be able to do that. And it's a quite simple. It's uh, like sim similar to the copy command. Uh, you just type S copy, or SCP. And then from what do you want to copy and to where do you want to copy? And I have this in my SSH. There we have that one. And then where? So we again specify almost the same thing that we did to connect to the machine. Uh, this part. and a colon to where on this machine do you want to save this file. I want it to be in the, the root, uh, the, the, the home folder for the, the, the person, uh, the Ubuntu uh, user, and in its SSH uh, folder. And since, you see, I, I, I never use any passwords because I use this key to be able to, to, uh, to connect to the machine. So, now that file should be on that server. So try to connect to it again. And ls ssh. And here we see that we have that file. And again, we probably should set the, the file, uh, the, the correct permissions for the file. Mod. Uh. Oh yeah, you need to specify what which is the uh, permission we want, 400. And we want to add that. And here also we need to start this uh, SSH agent, which is quite a strange command. Let's see if I find it again. I never remember this. I will put these commands on the, on the our web page, of course. No. Oh, a lot of S's. And then SSH add. So, now we should be able to connect to the Cirrus machine with the private address that it got. So SSH, Cirrus, at 192.168.2051, perhaps? Yes, 51. And now we are from my machine connected to the Ubuntu machine via the internet, and then from that Ubuntu machine connected to the Cirrus machine. 
And you could do this further and further and further, uh, but it will be quite hard to know where you are <laughs> in, the, in the end. So you will probably, if you want to administer another machine, you will exit it out of this machine, the Cirrus machine, and go back to the Ubuntu machine and connect to the NADA. If I connect again, I won't be asked this question to add the, the RSA key. It's just connected. And most of the system, as you see now, I only get the dollar sign to show uh, that is the serial machine that doesn't uh, have that in its profile to show the computer uh, name and which the account that I'm logged in with. But if I exit it back to Ubuntu, you probably won't use the, this serial machine to, 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 uh, to host any services. This is just for, for testing. But the Ubuntu machine you will probably use. And here you will see the username which are logged into and the uh, server name. So it will use the name that you uh, used to set in the uh, here, but in lower cases, uh, set that to the name. So now we could, uh, oh, that has been sometimes, you get logged out. you should now be able to uh, disconnect that floating IP. Oh yeah, so now it doesn't have a publicly accessed uh, IP, uh, but we will still be able to connect to it from our Ubuntu machine, yes. But if we exit it back out twice to get back to my machine and try to connect to, let's see, the serum machine. Yeah, here. It doesn't work because that IP is not assigned with, uh, connected to that, that uh, IP address anymore. Uh, so you should only use uh, public the public IP on machines to which, which you know that they are secure, uh, and only open uh, the security, only open ports that you really need. Uh, I can show you later on how to change the default port of the SSH, which is 22, because that will be hammered <laughs> in a couple of weeks. All of our addresses will be, so they try to, to hack us. But if we change that port to 20,022, then they won't try that because they only use the default ports when they try. So that could be an, an easy way to make your system more secure. Don't use the standard port because it's not that hard for us to, to just type another port to connect to it.